I've always wondered how an AI can just look at what you're saying and know exactly what to say in response. I mean, I know the basics, like predict the next word, but how does it actually work? What math does it do? Well, I was listening to a TED talk and the guy said that an engineer will figure out how a car works by taking it apart and rebuilding the whole thing, seeing how it works each step of the process. So I decided I'm going to make my own AI. But there was one problem. I don't know how to code. You see, when you make an AI, you have to go through many processes like coding Python scripts, uploading data sets, running it on GPUs. It all costs a lot of money. There's a lot of temperature attention. But wait, there is a coding language that I do know how to code in. A language anyone can code in if they understand English. And that is Scratch. If you don't already know what Scratch is, it is a coding language that was made for teaching kids the basic skills of coding. So if you can understand English, you can code in it. See, look, it's so simple. When the flag click, move 10 steps. But because it's so simple, it has limitations. It's like, it's like trying to win a NASCAR race while riding a tricycle. But I don't really care, so. In this video, I will show you how AI works by showing you how I made my own AI. So let's get right into it. So the goal is to give the AI text or the data set, and then based on the sentences that it has, it'll answer your questions. So the AI actually doesn't think in words, it thinks in numbers. So the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is convert all the words in the data set into numbers. So I put all the words into a list, so he defined yoga as the cessation, etc., and all the words over and over again, so that it can look at each word. Then the program can read through the data set and slowly add any new words to a certain list and if the words that were there are already there, it will skip that. So it rewrites the whole data set as if no words were repeated. Then after that, we just assign a number to every single word. So the next step is the training. So let's say that the da data set is technology is cool, MJ is cool, who is MJ? So this is the data set and then it's separated into tokens because these are is the data set with no words repeated. So we can start off training by looking at the first word, technology. And then, so, so it's highlighted, and then it'll look for every single word that comes after technology. So the word that comes after technology is, is. So then it'll add under the token technology, the word is. Then it'll move on to the next word, which is is. So then it'll look at every single word that comes after is, which is cool, cool, and MJ. And then it'll add that under the word is. And it'll do it for every single word in the whole entire data set. And then after that, it'll add it to a list. So the list will look something like this. So here's the token list. Here's the transition list or the training list. So the word yoga, all the words that come after yoga, are, are number two in the list and number 2,400. And then all the words that come after is are number three in the list, number 56, number 62, number 41, etc. So then it does it for every single token. So we have 8,000 tokens and then we have 8,000 transitions. So that is basically how my AI is going to predict things. So now that we have data of every single word and every word that comes after it, if we have the word not, we can find it in the translations, transitions list and then decode the item. And so if we have the word not, all the words that come after are of, had, related, so not of or not had or not related or not sweet. And so then we can let it, and so then we can either randomly pick one of these words or we can pick it off of certain rules. So let's just let the AI pick one of these words. Oh, I let it pick too many words, but um, 
so it picked it picked the word not and then it picked the word get and then now the word is shorter and the possible words to come after shorter are and and until and a nothing so now it will just go and pick one of those and it picked the word until and then after the word until the word the word is the his modern later all these words so then basically it'll just keep on picking one of the possible words over and over again right now this is just picking random ones but in the future i'm gonna make it where it has like certain types of words it'll pick so that the sentences are more coherent so if we let it keep on picking over and over and over again we can wait to see the final answer. All right, so the final answer it had was not get shorter until they will let the US feel sad is not resign because he conquered the candle cannot have clean the 1450s. What? So that isn't a very coherent answer. But but this is only because it's picking random words. So the AI isn't actually considering which words might con come next. So one thing that we could do is whenever it's looking at which words to pick next, it could tell whether there has already been a verb in the sentence so that we don't have multiple verbs. For example, we have tell, feel, conquered, and have in the same sentence. You can't have that many verbs in a sentence. So that, in a basic sense, is how my AI works. I added some other features like, for example, whenever you put in your prompt, whenever it's trying to predict the next word, out of all the possible words, it will pick a word that is contained inside of your prompt. So if I put in the prompt US, because I want it to talk about the US, and I click enter, it will mention the US in its response. So the Singapore and the US, if it is recommended and the rest is basically nonsense if you want to read it you can all right so here is a bunch of snippets of the code so here's the main code here is the tokenization and training code here is the predicting code and then these are code for all the graphics and stuff so if you want to try this out for yourself i will be posting this on my scratch account which is tate-1809 on Scratch, I'll put a link in the description. And you can see some of my other projects there too. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. I know this technology stuff can be a little bit technical and complex, but if you have any questions, just comment them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a part two. So I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if the bell or the YouTube actually shows you. Subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. Subscribe to subscribe to subscribe. It's right now. Subscribe. It turns gray. Subscribe. Thank you.